I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm low-key kind of happy to be back on the neighborhood playing 2K. Yo, I'm no dead ass. All I've been doing is mouse and keyboard recently, bro. It just felt good on my last video and just to be back playing on my home turf where I know I could dominate, man. It just feels so good. Oh my God. So I wanted to get into the hang of things. There's been a bunch of tournaments going off and I joined one. So the prime tournament I joined, a lot of the top teams are playing, but there's a twist. Okay, so if you guys have been paying attention, the NBA 2K League dropped down to the top 250 and then they announced the top 102. Before we get into that, congratulations to my guy Jalen and Kuda because they both made the top 102, man. They're repping the Game Breakers. Shout out to them. They're going to be drafted by a 2K League team. That is crazy. I'm so happy for them. I'm hoping they just go out there and dominate everybody. The bad news is they can't play in tournaments with me anymore, but we're going to have to find a couple replacements. But the Game Breakers are back. In fact, they just released the brackets. And on a very depressing note, because we haven't played Prime in two months now, we're no longer in the top 100. But the team we're playing is number three new lane now if you guys have been following the channel for long enough and you watch all the videos shout out to you i appreciate you we've played them before but only once and we lost by two or three and it was the first game with our new squad i think that was the first game when kuda returned to the squad if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong about that but yeah i'm pretty confident i mean the rankings doesn't mean too much i'm mean, yo just a quick little briefing for people who aren't really familiar with pro-am there's a lot of teams that duck and dodge competition to rise in the rankings a lot of the teams you catch at 60 and 80 will destroy the teams at 18 and 8 just because the guys at 60 and 80 are busy playing top teams all the time for example number 76 seattle knights we've played them like four or five times this is my guy j-lock right and they're a very very good squad but they're number what 76 if you had to do an actual ranking they'd be like 30 so i'm not necessarily chipping about the ranking although of course you want to be up there who wants to be lower on the rankings nobody but it should be interesting man i definitely have to shake off the rust it's been a while since i played you see me repping the brown shirt <laughs> Telling you it's been a while, man. It's been so much that's happened, man. We lost a couple players. They graduated to the 2K League. I'm happy for them. We're going to get some reps in tonight to practice. I don't think the game is for another three or four days. I might be streaming it. I'll put the link in the Facebook description. Also, I've literally never entered Mountain Dew ever. This is going to be the first time I entered all of 2K18. I heard it was ass this year. So, I like, I remember last year, I, I would literally wake up and like, yo, let's play, let's play. This year, it's like, yo, I don't know anybody who's excited to play Mountain Dew. Zero people. I think it's crazy people really still try. Like, they're, they're, they're really trying. They, they literally woke up and tried. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, yo. <laughs> literally head to toe this entire thing is one big advertisement. <laughs> Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna waste my time here. Literally every single time you head into the subway, you're taking a risk. Like, there's a very serious chance I literally do not come out the other side. It's happened so many times to me, and yet I, I still keep giving the subway a chance. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Yo, isn't it crazy, considering they call it the neighborhood, that there's no proximity chat? Like, you know how crazy this game would be if they had proximity chat? I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's basically like some games like SOCOM used to have it, where when you get close to someone, you can talk to them. If I'm across the park from somebody, they wouldn't be able to hear me, but if, if, I'm, if I'm where, you see Alex TJ right there? If I'm right here, we can go back and forth with one another. And like, if, like just on Fortnite, if there's like a push to talk mic, how beautiful would that have been? How is this a neighborhood where you can't talk to nobody? You can't even message back and forth like PlayStation Home. Ain't none of this is neighborhoodly, all right? Back back when I was a little kid, man, you were able to talk to one another. A challenge into a game of basketball, you would talk to you know, you would say stuff like, you're a bitch if you don't shoot, <laughs> and they would inevitably miss the shot, and you'd be like, I outsmarted you. You're a dimwit. That was the number one trick in the book when you came up against a garbage baller. Imagine if you could taunt people, or if there was just like a text chat. You know, oh man, oh man. 2K, I don't think would be able to do that at all, even if like they wanted to, because it would threaten their E for everybody rating. The second people could start talking to each other, <laughs> this game is rated F, bro. F for fucked up. <laughs> I need to exchange this brown shirt for something else because people don't really want to hoop with me. I need to show him my resume. I could let him know like, yo, I beat Wavy. <laughs> I know y'all know him. He said he was super famous last video. It's game! Oh my god! You lost, Wavy! Your ass! You saw! You saw! 
garbage person on the team. You're the reason we were losing. Oh. You know, if I beat Wavy, I could be anybody, right? That famous guy that everybody was looking to expose. How do you walk off when I get here? Like, like, like we're not the same old. <laughs> Did he just treat me like a come up? It's literally been like an entire. F 10 minutes, man. Just add matchmaking, yo. Y'all did it with Ruffles. This shit exists. They just, they refuse to add matchmaking because they can't stuff all these ads in our face 24-7. Jesus, man. Literally, how long do I gotta wait to play a game? And this is me. Imagine if you're like a 60 overall, bro. You're never getting in a game on the park. It just, it, it will not happen. I'm being disrespected on the park. They see a brown shirt and they run away? <laughs> They're missing out, guys. <laughs> this is the greatest slasher to ever touch it, man. <laughs> and, and they'll never get a chance to play with me now. What a shame. What a true shame. Listen, man, I just want to shake the rust off, yo. Just start a game. How am I going to get ready for the pro app tournament? Oh, my God. I'm actually fucking dying. Like, this is... This is uh, this is why I don't play the park no more. This is why nobody plays the park. This is why this shit died, bro. This is why this whole fucking game mode died. I, I refuse to enter the park ever again. <laughs> I just refuse. Man, it was once at the top. Remember what? Remember what? Ah! new players to get into a game if i can't even get a team yo oh my god man yo i think rainbow six matchmaking is ridiculous when it takes three minutes i legit sat there for 10 minutes and nothing happened yo like honestly i tried y'all like like i tried to give it a chance man unless it's for a video i was so serious when i said this like five months ago i refused to play park i just tried to play it just casually not even for like a, a rookie bit nothing i just wanted to hop <laughs> this is why i play pro <laughs> This is why I exclusively play Prime. I mean, I can't play my team. Where's my team at? Where's all the billboards with the packs? Where's all the ads at? I saw them a second ago. Where are they at? Yo, uh, I'm gonna come out with a, a, a nice long wish list video on like everything I wanna see in 2K19. And it's gonna be a long one, all right? Cause there's a lot of stuff on the list. But God damn, is it frustrating to even walk into the park. Literally the only time the park is fun is when I'm going out of my way to get funny reactions, doing goof That's it. You don't just play it casually to have fun anymore uh yo i just wanted to hop on man I, look, I was actually looking to shake some rust off didn't get a chance i got some hilarious ideas for videos coming up man if you guys missed my last video it was probably one of my favorites i've uploaded in a very long time i'll leave a card above and a link in the description a lot has changed man <laughs> a lot of stuff is starting up things is moving around i'm just trying to find my way and adjust i literally uploaded like two or three fortnite videos and people were like agent this this guy's a fortnite youtuber I'm like, yo, it was like three videos. <laughs> Relax, yo. I'm like, damn, that's all it took? I uploaded like three videos on NBA Playgrounds. I'm not an NBA Playground YouTuber. <laughs> God damn, I'm like, yo, already? I mean, I'm playing it a lot. I literally, I play it every single day on Facebook. I'm like, yeah, every once in a while, I bring the content over to YouTube, all right? Don't trip. I'm still coming through it to 2K Fire. I know there's like a handful of you guys that don't even play anymore will in the comments talking about, yo, AJ, I still with your videos though. I'm like, that's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Honestly, I don't even play the game outside of videos much. I just try to make the best content possible. That's it. And I'm gonna set out to do that, man. If you guys enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I <laughs> listen, guys, I refuse. I will never go on the park again unless it's for a video. I just will never, ever, 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 ever do it. Ever. Ever. I'm out. Peace.